Hello, welcome. What are you doing? I want to be in a video. You can't be in a video. I want to say the line. It's a, it's an editing nightmare. What line? You know what line. You're going to ruin this. Well, there's no place to sit. Welcome inside the mind of man. I'm an electrician that 3D printed parts for a 3D printer made out of electrical parts. That's a redundant statement from the Department of Redundancy Department. Stay tuned. Now that he's gone, let's talk about this. So while I was at Murph, there was a printer that was literally like right across from where I was sitting. And at first I didn't notice it. And then once I came around and got to see everything, I noticed it. And it just screamed my name. And it's called the Piper One. I'll leave a link in the description. It is on Thingiverse as well as they have a website which gives a build description, a part description, and an assembly description and stuff like that. But what I did, if you watched my video on the atomic carbon fiber filament that I got from Murph as well, that's what some of these print parts are printed in. I ran out of the carbon fiber and I ended up having to use a little bit of the uh, other MG chemical PETG. This is all PETG in black and red. I printed as much of the, the base parts with the carbon fiber that I could just so I can have that extra strength if it's in there. Uh, I had to cut up a bunch of pipe. I did some calculations as far as how much I needed and it turned out it was just under 30 feet. Now there's three different options for this printer. You can print it at a 300 by 300, a 400 by 400, or a 500 by 500. And I have decided to go with the big one. So I am going to take these parts and I'm going to put them together and see what we're in, gonna end up with. So let's, uh, I did get, where's my hardware? Where's my hardware? There's my hardware. There is a bunch of hardware that's going to be needed, a bunch of bearings that are going to be needed. Like I said, there's a uh, link for all the parts that are needed for this build. I will make sure that there's a link in the description and everything. I do have a couple of stepper motors and some spare parts laying around from some of the other printers that I've used, but there are some major components that I don't have yet. I'm in the process of working on getting them, and uh, we'll cover that later on in the video. So let's get to building. So all in all, there are 13 different pipes that will need to be cut at various lengths. As you see here I was smart about it and I labeled all of my parts. But the frame consists of on the bottom there's going to be two side parts, a back, a front, and then there is a top part that goes across. I got two parts for the Y axis, two parts for the Z axis or X axis, two for the Z and then two for the brace. And then of course all the parts correspond but I'm gonna start with the base and one thing that I'm already discovering is that my table is a little bit too small so I might just move the table out and start building on the floor just so that I can get a nice flat surface and get all these parts squared up and tightened up and we'll see all right, so first we're gonna need our corner pieces. There's two parts that hold our stepper motors. It's the 
back part that holds the stepper motor, front part that holds the tensioner. These are the cross parts for the Z brace. And the top part with the Z verticals. And then there is the back parts. That's going to be for the extruder hot end. These are the Z motors or Z axis. I've got a bunch of motor mounts. So in the instructions it does show these being assembled first mainly because once the bearings are all on these that the pipe isn't going to you know you're not going to be able to put it like that you kind of slide it over it so it'll be part of the build so i have enough bearings at this point right now for the the z i will be getting some more in order to finish but i don't have a bed or a hot end yet so those axes don't completely matter right now but I am going to put the bearings in these so that I can put that part of it together. Okay, so I got the base and the Z started. Now I gotta get the rest of these parts in for the frame.
Okay, so now that this thing's put together a little bit and it's just sturdy, it's not going to fall apart, I got it up on the table. Now I'm going to finish working on it as much as I can. Okay, so everything is pretty much together as far as the frame goes. The only thing I've got left to do is mount some stepper motors and I don't have any belts or anything like that at this point, but, and I'm missing some bearings, but I'm gonna need the bed and I'm gonna need some of the other um, com major components in order to finish the complete build, but I'm gonna mount the stepper motors and then we're gonna go from there. Actually, after further review, I've discovered my first mistake. This one has got to go over there, and this one's got to go over there. So that the bracket for this mounting is here, as well as the, the lead screw hole, it needs to be over there. So I've got to switch everything. Okay, so I've got them switched around, and now they're on the right side. And as you see, the stepper will sit under here. There's like a little motor mount that goes up under there. Same on the other side. I've got one for the back. And then of course one gets mounted right up there. So I am going to go ahead and do those now. Alright, so here pretty much the frame is mostly together. I still have, uh, apparently I did not have the hardware that I needed. Plus, uh, never mentioned anything about any metrics. 
in the instructions in order to mount some of the metric parts like the stepper motors and the parts that I do have that are metric I do not have the right ones but I'm still waiting on a couple other parts I'm gonna need some lead screws that are tall enough I'm gonna need a hot end to go on this of course a bed I was hoping to do a heated bed 120 volts possibly I also have a new Raspberry Pi for it and Brian if you're watching this this is your Pi hat that I got from Murph that I plan on using this uh, for this project I have a power supply and stay tuned for that there's going to be more about that um, I do have my ramps board out of my CR10 I think other than that um, pretty much gonna have a, a 500 by 500 by 500 3D printer made from electrical parts so this is just part one of the video it's going to be too long to put all in one so make sure that you're subscribed and you've got your notifications set so you know when my next video is coming out also check all the links down in the description for any shopping that you'd like to do it helps out the channel a lot thanks again everybody for stopping inside the mind map happy printing be safe pouring keep coming back because there's going to be more inside the mind map and I did have a thought about this if anybody would like to see me like do a live stream working on this or anything make sure you leave a comment in the comment section and let me know so